Hi, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Hello everyone, what's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome to more Geometry Dash. Today, as you can see by the title, I have uncovered one of my long lost levels. This is a level that has been talked about a lot. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Yo, Aeon, when's this level coming out? Because I did initially release this, actually. This is a level that this was my last fully fledged released level. So it has a little bit of a history to it. Uh, my good friend Wio Wio Tio, you guys may know him. He's a small little YouTube channel with like, I don't know, for like 50,000 subs. He told me a couple of weeks ago, Aeon, holy shit, I found a copy of To The Stars 2. Which, for those of you who don't know, To The Stars was like my legendary old 1.7 level that used to be one of the hardest levels in the game. It is still up on my account. It's like rated a medium or a hard demon at, at the moment, I think. Uh, we can very easily check. That's not where I have to go. If we go here, yep, it's rated a medium demon in game at the moment. This used to be like one of those huge levels, like very huge levels. It's been mentioned by C a lot in his videos. And unlike this one, which is a stupid challenge, trust me, for me when he uh, when he came to my to visit a little while ago unlike this one which is time pressure 2 which was a meme that trust made I have been I have acquired this to the stars 2 this was an incredibly difficult level I managed to verify it back in like 2014 15 maybe which at the time it would have probably placed around the top five back when, um, right after Bloodbath came out. So it would have been like bordering onto the extreme demon, even for today's standards. I don't remember much of this level though. I haven't played it in like, literally since I beat it. The reason why it was removed from the, um, from the, 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 the from the servers was because I tried to up, I tried to give an unnerfed version because I ended up nerfing it a little bit slightly, obviously because I played on mobile back then. I ended up nerfing it or buffing it again. Get, try to give a copy to Wio for him to verify so that the unnerfed version could be uploaded. However, when I did that, it also updated the old level with a secret way. So I deleted it before I hit a thousand downloads because it had a secret way. I didn't want to verify it again and because it took me a really long time. This took me like three weeks or something to verify back then. And yeah, now I've finally got myself a copy of it again because my dumbass uploaded it to give it a secret way and I deleted it and the level has been no more. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be checking out the level. We're going to be checking out what the level was about. We're going to see how it was, how it holds up and yeah, just see how it was. This is my last attempt at creating from very, very long, long, long ago. This is going to be fun. I'm going to hop into a practice run before anything because I don't want to go into the editor first. I want to just see it in practice mode. I don't know if this level even works on higher refresh rates, if I'm being completely honest with you. I may have verified it in like very late 1.9, maybe early 2.0. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I'm not sure if this level will work or not, but we'll find out. So let's give it a, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Oh, that's actually kind of dumb. So I was always the kind of person to be like, I always liked timings for some reason. I was really good with ship back in the day. I was one of the very first people to like pioneer sh hard ship gameplay. Remember that this was verified on mobile. So I used to be like one of the good people when it comes to ship. That was why to the stars was re regarded as, ha as hard as it was because no one else was able to do ship gameplay as difficult as, as I was able to do. And even to this day, ship is my best game mode. That is really dumb. We go bam, bam, bam. There aren't a lot of inputs in this because straight fly on mobile used to be like impossible. So this is, I think the portals here were just because I needed less inputs to get through it. But still, holy shit, that's hard. I cannot seem to get this yellow ore for the life of me. Hold up. All right, here comes the wave part, which was like my trouble spot. I'm bad at wave. This was like, I made this wave part just to like challenge myself with wave. This was like old Aeon's cry for help when it came to wave. This isn't nearly as bad as I thought it used to be, not gonna lie, but still, it's pretty hard. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this part vividly. Obvious Cataclysm vibes, obvious Cataclysm inspiration. 
But I remember this part being like one of the magnum opuses of like weird hard gameplay. As you can see, I've always liked weird hard timings because you cannot land on that edge ledge. You have to fall between these two spikes and hit that uh, pink orb like so. All right, then we came to the memory part. This memory part was never really like difficult, but then we came to this ball part. This ball section I remember actually being kind of hard if I'm not mistaken. Like there are some really tight timings in this ball part. Oh yeah, like that one. I made some hard shit back in the day, Jesus Christ. I gotta go faster than that, what the hell? And here comes one of those ship parts. As you can see, I was very, very, I was, I really liked hardship. Hardship has like always been my thing, if you couldn't tell. Essentially, this level just follows the formula how the original To The Stars was built up. And it just goes way harder on the difficulty. Ha, wow, look at, look at that masking, bro. Ah, oh, so awful. The layering, disgusting. To be fair, it's an old level, so it makes sense. Oh, that is, there is so much space there. Holy shit. Pulling some Sock in Hell vibes. I am still kind of proud of this gameplay. I think the gameplay in this part is actually kind of good. It goes kind of fast though, so it's hard to pay attention to. But I always really like this gameplay. That is actually so hard. What the fuck? How did I do this like ever? God damn. Oh boy, what? How did I do that? Like, ever. That's surprisingly hard. That's a surprisingly hard level. I'm very surprised the level still works, actually. I kind of want to clean this up one day. Like, I kind of just want to want to sit through in a call with a friend of mine or some shit. Just go through this, clean it up a little bit, and verify it. Because I like this level still. I think this is the best thing that I ever managed to make in GD, even though it's messy. I like this. It's a very fun thing to do. I will buff some of the parts. I will nerf some of the parts, but I think this would be a very fun level to actually end up doing again. It's a one minute level, so it's not like super hard or anything, but this could be like a fun insane demon. But the fact that I verified this, obviously this one is slightly buffed. This is like the unnerfed version, but it's not like much easier than the actual version that I ended up verifying back in the day. But the fact that it, I've managed to verify this in 1.9, back when Bloodbath still was number one, or like early 2.0 when Bloodbath just became number one. Kinda crazy. I've been uh, I've been a, an okay player at this game for way too long, man. I've played this game for so long, lol. I, I should clean up this part, for instance, because this part is a mess and a half, but I wanna keep it to like, as true to the original To The Stars as possible, as in like, the neon theme for it, just because I want it. I don't want the level to be rated, obviously. I don't really care about that. It would be cool to just have my old original level would just be verified and up on the servers again. I feel I feel like that would be really cool. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that would be a fun thing to do? Just have this level finally verified, finally uh, everything, and just have it be a level that you guys can play. This level does have some history. It's a very it's very obscure GD history because this level never really amounted to much because I only managed to have it uploaded for like two days before it got deleted which to be fair was my own mistake but it's just i don't know there's just something really cool about it wow i've dude i'm getting like hit with a very massive wave of nostalgia there's just something about this that to me is just really cool and seeing this level again after so long like quite literally years like half a like over half a decade it's just really cool and it's fun to see like a lost part of my creating history and playing history because when this came out this was like a big deal this level was a very big deal when it initially came out so seeing what could have been and it would have been it's interesting to theorize where this would have landed i think this is probably harder than cataclysm potentially i don't know maybe is it i don't know dude I, i'm getting fucking emotional bro like, I don't know, there's just something about this level that's just my childhood, you know? Back in the day when I used to play this game on my iPad mini. But yeah, this is just a really cool find. I'm very happy that we managed to 
Oh, I sent me a message whenever he said that he found a level. Based on the levels that had come out, this was probably the second hardest legit verification. <laughs> right behind Bloodbath. We had, we had obviously ICDX, we had Cataclysm. I think, I don't think the ultimate face was out at this point. Maybe the ultimate face was out, but those three were all hacked. So this and Cataclysm, or this and Bloodbath were like the only two legit verifications at the time. Not as a final level, I kind of do want to still make another level one day, but it would be very, very cool, I think, to just have this level finally be released to the public again. Because this was supposed to be my final level and like final gauntlet of challenge back in the day. Uh, legitimately verified again would be very, very cool, I think. And just overall a very satisfying experience. Go here, hit those. There we go. I wanna, I want, I, I really want to. I will see what happens, but I'm very, I'm very, very tempted to do that. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think I should rework the level a little bit, change up some of the things to just make it look cleaner and just re-release the level? With no intentions of it ever being rated, obviously, I don't think it will be rated, nor do I really think it deserves to be rated at this point. It's a very old level, so if it were to be rated, I feel like people would get mad at me, which I don't really want, so I wouldn't care about this being rated or not. I would just want to re-release or release the level just so I have it released because it's a level that means a lot to me. But yeah, anyway, that's really cool. Thank you so, so much, Wio, for finding it. I really, truly appreciate that. Uh, either way, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all the recent support. Uh, this is a cool level. This is a very, very fun to go back to it, see what it could have been, see what it was, and just have a little bit of a reminiscence, have a little bit of a backtrack into memory lane, seeing my last, well, my last actual level. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. You guys know the deal by now. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and on Instagram. Those are my main socials. Links to those are in the description. As per usual, join my Discord server if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to eat your greens. Goodbye, everybody.